Hello everyone, thank you very much for joining me. Um, yes, I am feeling a little bit better, thank you for asking. Uh, so today I'm here to discuss dream time with you and maybe you've noticed a shift in this area of your life. I certainly have, especially the last few nights. Um, right now there's a lot of collective healing going on. There's a lot of karmic ties being let go and there's also a lot of things coming back from your past to attach to you. And the, the process of karma clearing through dream time is actually a really efficient system because it allows your higher self and your team to identify things and just sort of help you get some things done and do some work while you're resting. And they love to do that for you. They love to be involved in any way they can. So I just want to let you know right now if you're having some really bad intense dreams that it is a reason to celebrate because the way is being cleared for you and the work is being done and that's your proof right there that the work is being done. But how you respond to waking up and uh, after having that experience is very important because you don't want to carry that energy around with you. So for example, let's say you had a dream that your child got kidnapped and it was so real and made such a vivid impact on you because um, some of the characters in that dream were real life people in your life today, here and now. Well, what's actually happening is that what you got to think that you've been on earth for a really long time. Um, if you're an old soul, you've been here dozens, hundreds, if not thousands of times. And yes, the earth is much older and humanity's story is way older than we've ever been told, um, at least officially. So it is possible for you to have those lifetimes and those lifetimes are very, very far stretched um, as far as experience goes. When you think of the life we live now and how much trauma and sadness and all that negative stuff that we can experience here in this timeline, um, you know, imagine what you've been through if you've done this hundreds of times. Um, so there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of extra baggage that's attached to you and it's all part of the, the karmic cycle. Well, here we are in 2020, uh, getting ready to clear that karma. And we've been doing this work, some of us, for a really long time. But there still are some things that are remaining that need to get rid of because um, on the ascension process, before you wake up, you know, you're carrying all this stuff around like luggage. Um, and it's really heavy and it's hard for you to get anything done that you want to do as far as raising your vibration and leaving this dimensional plane behind because you have this stuff attached to you. So when you, with your free will, make the decision to ascend, your higher self and your team begin to help you process and remove this baggage that you don't need to carry around anymore. Because we are going into a new frequency, we are raising our vibration, and you can't take the old with you. So, you have this dream, it's really vivid, and you wake up, and you're sort of like, you know, that was uncomfortable, why did I do that? And you tend to carry that with you the rest of the day because of the, the characters that were involved. Um, but I want you to know that it's important to remember that these dreams are not something that's going to be happening in the future. This is strictly clearing of past energies. So then you might say, why was this person that's with me now um, involved in this dream? Well, that's so that when this dream happens, that it makes an impact on you, that it carries over to a place where you can emotionally clear it. And while you're having these dreams and while you're going through these experiences, it's important to feel the emotions that come up it's important to acknowledge and recognize the energies that were in existence then and still carrying with you. So how do you approach this happening for you and not carry it with you the rest of the day? Um, so the, the energies that linger might be sadness, confusion, and all this stuff and whatever else that experience brought with it. Um, First of all, you need to recognize the work that's being done immediately when you wake up. So you wake up and you immediately recognize, wow, this bad dream was clearing this really heavy timeline from my field. 
um, thank you very much and acknowledge that this work is being done for you. And then we do what we're trained to do. We see this bad energy that was there and we transmute it with our love and our light from the heart space like we've been taught to do all along. And then we move on and it's detached. But if you find yourself caught up in that negative energy and you just carry it along with you, that is going to be attached to you still. And you're going to have to redo that whole situation of having that dream come back to you, seeing the situation and hoping uh, once and for all that it clears for you. But it's a lot easier and a lot more impressive to your team if you can recognize what's going on and clear it. So that's pretty simple. Um, there's also going to be, if you haven't experienced them yet, get ready to have some very, very good dreams. Uh, meaning that all that good stuff from your past lives is going to come back to you as well. And they're going to attach good qualities to you, good energies that you can use that are useful to you now, um, as in skills, abilities, and anything else where you excelled, anything that you experienced in the past that can maybe correct an issue that you're dealing with now is all going to come back. But that heavy old energy needs to be cleared away first. So don't get too distressed. If you are having bad dreams, it's only temporary and it's actually a reason to celebrate. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.